Whoa. Well, hey guys, Abraham here with the Salmon Homestead. I'm doing a little walk in here because I have the pig feed in the back of the truck. We for sure cannot afford to get stuck. Oh, it is pretty moist going through that spot there. Hmm. Oh my word. This would be a totally risk. Yeah, I could go try and gun it right across that spot there. That's better of that spot. And then come back. Let's go right across and go right across this snow. Well, that would work. And that would get me back up to the top here. This is not too bad. You'll see the track though. Gotta get the feet, wanna get the feet down today. At least tomorrow it's supposed to be 25, 26. We wanna get the pigs. I don't know, I guess I, the moment I'm a little anxious and I'm probably a little confused on weather. So yesterday, it got down to 30 degrees, was cloudy all the way in the morning. Came out here, it was 38 degrees at eight o'clock. Here's the trailer. And it was pretty firm. I mean, firmer than it is today. So I was like, yeah, it's supposed to be 28 degrees. So like two or three degrees cooler. Well, I'm hoping you're not gonna see me stuck. I gotta get it, gotta get it back here, so. I sure wish it was better. All right, here we go. That was the first low spot. There's some snow. All right, then I'm gonna scooch over into this snow. Like I say, I'm going downhill, so I think this should be fine. I'm getting out of the snow a little bit big. Feel me spinning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. <laughs> we made it back. I'll try and show you later the, the tracks. So the tracks go down in the snow. Then I came out a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna keep it going here. I don't know how much it's gonna <laughs> thaw while I'm unloading the feed, but I'm gonna get turned around um, or I'll just back up and try and back into the trailer. And uh, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna be able to pull it up through the snow would be my guess. So one track straight out, no one track and around like I came in, then I'll I'll show you how much track there really is. I think it went really well first to start, but getting in that first, whatever, 40 to 70 feet, that's the tough spot right there. So, all right, let's get some feet unloaded here. One barrel is full and I still have 
three bags left, so I put in three and a half bags. So I do have enough barrels. So I think I'm just gonna do this shorter one since I know it's gonna fit in there. And then, well, I don't know if you saw, I brought the gates out. So I do need to unload the gates as well. Feed is unloaded. Gates are right there. And now, of course, now I gotta go and see about getting into the trailer. By the way, as I'm trying to calm my breath down, and it's not from lifting the, I think approximately 75 pound bags um, that the feed was in, but just when you're, I don't know, doing different things. Um, you know, it's the day before the pigs are coming. It's been many months and months of, of prep to get to this point. And now we're almost here, but I don't know if I'm really anxious about tomorrow yet or anxious to get the trailer out um, to get the pigs. Um, and then once they're down here and I have the feed down here, I'll have to just carry in water, but let it rain, let it snow, whatever it wants to do. But uh, I, I think I might be a little anxious right now. Um, and we did this morning when we were watching uh, Devotion on TV, he talks about actually interesting enough of not being anxious and when you are anxious, what does uh, the Lord say to do? He says, uh, come to him in prayer. So I need to calm my nerves by praying right now that everything's gonna be fine, no matter if the trailer comes out or if I get a little stuck going back out. Um, but, uh, Gotta mellow here a little bit. I'm gonna put you over by the trailer though. I think I'll, I'll put you over and you can witness if it, witness me driving back and up to the trailer. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna, oh, look at that sun come out again. Again, I looked at the weather last night. It said it was supposed to be cloudy till like four o'clock today. This is not cloudy. It's not even close to cloudy, hardly. Okay, so I think this feels pretty firm coming back in. And soft. <laughs> All right, here, you guys can watch me back up. Okay, so the ball is going to catch it there. And just enough to get the lock underneath. up. I'm not feeling very confident, but we're hooked up. Let me just see here. Okay, so if I miss that one, come this way. Yeah, just get back in here and 
you can watch. By the way, I'll, I'm gonna get by, but I'm gonna have to keep going if I get by. So let's see what happens. It's, <laughs> it's up the hill. At the moment, I'm stuck right there. But I got up the hill. <laughs> Crazy enough, it's up the hill. And I thought it'd be better to go through this, that snow over there than uh, stay up here where it was like mucky, but I guess I may have chose wrong. So what I'm gonna do is have that shovel down here my thought is I'm gonna try and move some of the snow that's uh, you know by the wheels and um, see if that's where it goes by the way we, we let her know Friday and then she's like well let me know an hour before but now I'm looking at this I'm like and by the way look it's it's sunny out again so I, I must have the wrong weather app because <laughs> it's a cloudy until four. It wasn't even partly cloudy, it was cloudy. <sighs> so, but the wheels don't run right behind the, the truck wheels. So I'm making wheels for the truck. I almost made it to that grass spot too. And then I'm making new wheels marks for this. So I'm gonna try and do some shoveling here and see what happens. Uh, oh, um, this is what the truck looks like. So it got a little bit, a little bit muddy. So. <laughs> Fire 
lights on here either. Like I can't get Okay, so that's that's really not, I wouldn't consider that stuck. The wheels aren't even, they're just on the snow, but we need a spot to get in to get it. So supposedly the next morning, tomorrow morning, it is supposed to be 21 degrees. So I will look when it's coldest, I'm thinking 5.30, 6 o'clock, it's gonna be cold. This will, freeze because if I left the snow on top once I break through the snow level I'm probably would have had the same thing as over there where now I'm in it's not frozen under underneath the snow so my thought is has quite a bit of brown here from the grass freezes supposedly to 21 we'll find that out for sure um, I'll just back in right down the path like normal if it's 21 I'll be able to easily back down there that will be frozen this will be hard we'll get to that point pull it out and also uh, before I'm talking to you now I just got off the phone and found out that the piglets have a little cold meaning they're not ready to go come to us yet so she just wanted to monitor them for a few more days so we will not be getting them right away the video that you probably would have seen after this video um, so that'll be just a little bit yet so my thought is at least if I pull it out when it's supposedly cold I'm gonna put it right along the edge our side of the road right along the ditch it's it's pretty good right there and that way when that day comes I'll just have to go right there get it go get them so yeah so do a little more shoveling and get this here and then I still have some more feed to go from the truck over to the chickens yet. All right, that is all cleaned up, pushed over, and now it's time to go to those guys from the truck and uh, carry over the other feed. Um, And while well, I'm walking to the truck, I guess I could talk to you guys. I also found out that the boar has been growing really weather well, meaning it's quite a, rather large. And she thought it would be best to not have the boar with the piglets um, just because he's going to be so big. So the plan at the moment would be is once we have them, by the way, here's this spot that's sort of dry right along the ditch. This is where I'd put the trailer. 
just put the boar in by the chickens. She said some of their pigs are with their chickens or the chickens rest with the pigs at night and they do just fine. So that is the plan there is probably put the boar with the chickens. It's already got the premier fence around it. And then the six piglets down there of which she said they would be small enough that we could still carry them. Let's say we got the trailer right to this point whenever we pick it up in whatever, five, seven days. We could just leave it here and then carry the piglets down, down to that end. So, all right, time to get the rest of the feed out of here to the chickens. Do you hear that? Without checking the clock, I believe it's noon. <laughs> So I've spent approximately two extra hours out here that I anticipated. But, hey, look what I got. The truck is out. The feed is distributed to the chickens and down to where the pigs are gonna go. And I already have six chicken eggs here and three duck eggs. Hey, I think it's turned out pretty good. And it's sunny. I do really like the sun. I guess I just, you know, can't trust the weatherman too much um, but man it sure is a beautiful day out right now so like I say feeds to its spot trailer is almost here we'll get that out tomorrow morning probably put it right along here and uh, yeah and then it should probably be a few more days yet before we get the get the piggies but all that being said it's a great day. It's a great day. So you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. You hear that? I was going to shut you off. Where's it coming from? There's a church right over there. I'm guessing it's noon. Let me see here. 1203. It is noon. <laughs>